And we're back at abcnews.com's Top Line with Jane Hampshire from FireDogLake.com. Jane, thanks for being here. And Jane, I want to get your thoughts, first of all, on the, the legacy of Ted Kennedy. We're hearing from uh, Kathleen Sebelius saying uh, last week, uh, let's think every step along the way. What would Teddy do as we try to get this done? How does that mesh in your mind with the, the drive for health care reform? Well, I think she should take her own advice. Uh, Ted Kennedy was a very strong proponent of universal health care and was also the chairman of the health committee that put out a bill that had a public plan in it, something that 77 percent of the country supports and yet Secretary Sebelius only two weeks ago was saying that it wasn't a public plan wasn't a key part of the administration's uh, health care plan so I'm not sure quite sure which where, where she's coming from but uh, I think it's good advice I know you've been very focused on getting commitments to the public option um, uh, you used some colorful language on your blog recently Me? Uh, describing how <laughs> describing <laughs> Rum's piece of something bill or something that may come through um, is is there not the lesson of Teddy Kennedy, though, that is the deal maker? That getting what you can get done and, and beginning the process of reform, if you can't get the whole loaf right now, get half the loaf. Well, I think that, you know, uh, Chairman Steele had a very good point that uh, cost control is something that we really have to focus on when we're doing health care because we don't want to be in a situation where we've got something that we can't pay for. Now, the most cost effective program is single payer. Uh, Medicare runs at 2.5% overhead, whereas your average insurance company runs at 30 cents on the dollar. So we took that off the table to begin with. We said we're not going to go single payer. We're going to protect the profits of the insurance companies over the interest, the health care interests of the public. So now the compromise is a public plan, which still has an element in it of expanding a very popular program, Medicare, offering those, those services to people that puts a downward pressure on insurance costs. Otherwise, all we're going to do is force middle class people to pay more for junk insurance and nobody, and, they, and they're just not going to see the benefits. So I think that is the compromise, and I think that's what Ted Kennedy saw, and I think that's why he agreed to it on the health committee. Gene, we're seeing Dick Cheney uh, out there again uh, on, on, uh, on some of the interrogation techniques used under the Bush administration, another spirited defense from him. Is what Attorney General Holder doing here, is that, to your mind, sufficient? Are you pleased to see this going forward as an investigation? Are they going to get at it even enough, despite what Cheney is saying, that this shouldn't be happening at all? Well, I think that it is important that, uh, that something be done. I thought it was sort of interesting that Michael Steele, the chairman of the Republican Party, is saying that the CIA is not subject to the rule of law and law enforcement has no place there. Who knew? <laughs> uh, you know, I, I think that it is important that there be checks and balances. I personally wish that Attorney General Holder would go farther and that and would, and would give them more authority to look more deeply but into them. But what of the response from the other side on this that, that says this has already been looked at? It has. There, there's not a new set of facts to put into the record. Uh, Attorney General Holder has launched an investigation about something that has already been investigated. I think that there is a broader problem here about the way that the whole war on terror was conducted and the techniques that were used mm -hmm. that need looking into. I think he's he's, he's sort of circumscribed, uh, you know, uh, he's asking a question that he, you know, that he thinks he already knows the answer to, but there is a broader investigation that needs to happen and I think that's what a lot of people would like to see in the interest of rule of law. And probably not what we're going to see. <laughs> as probably long as, not what we're going to see. A truth commission still, I guess, something like that may, may be out there. Jane Hampshire, FireDogLake.com. Thanks for being with us. Appreciate Thank it. You Thank much. you. Very much. Always happy to have you. That does it for this edition of Top Line. Be sure to click us on again tomorrow. It's twitter.com slash the note and abcnews.com slash blog slash the note. Keep the conversation going all day long. Thanks for being here. You know, I, because, perhaps because it is so narrow, that's why the right uh, line of attack button is